Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to another episode of Spin Tires Mud Runner on Hill, uh, I almost said Hillside, I don't know why I said Hillside, Downhill, I meant Downhill, but we just dropped off a load of lumber in the previous episode, there was a six point load of lumber uh, for the lumber mill right here in the, eh, well you can see in kind of like in the bottom half of the map, but what we're going to do is we are going to actually disconnect this trailer we're gonna back the truck up we're gonna park the trailer over there in the woods and we are going to uh, we're gonna park it there and we're kind of gonna get it out of the way a little bit these trailers kind of sucked to back up but we're gonna park it back there kind of get it out of the way just a bit and then once it's parked once it's parked we're gonna take this truck back and just take a, a single uh, single load of, um, of short logs back here back here to this lumber area because that's really all we need we've got six points already delivered we just need a load of i mean three points makes it nine so really we only need two more points but you can't carry a two-point load or at least not that i know of so we're gonna go gr ahead and grab that and then we should be good to go we also have that watch point done which oh this is a much more direct route okay wow that's that actually makes a lot more sense so in the future i'm going this way Shift it up into high and just power on through. Just cruise down to the uh, cruise down to the lumber area. We'll go back. We'll drop it off at the mill and we'll be good to go. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. There she goes. I'm gonna try to hang right to avoid that. Oh god, causing a little bit of engine damage. Not necessarily what I want to be doing right now. Avoid the stumps because really they they. Oh god. All right, the front of our truck is getting a little beat up. Do want to avoid the sides of the road because they do have those stumps and apparently they are lethal to the engine. In a little bit, I am going to. In a little bit, I am going to actually. I think. Uh, should I do that? Should I check the map? Yeah. Uh, do I have enough fuel to get to to get the lumber picked up and get back? I think I have just enough. Just enough, and then I'm gonna have to rescue this truck to the garage. Would I do that on hardcore? No, uh, absolutely not. However, we are going to skip night, and oh crap! Oh my god, our truck has like no fuel. Like, how much fuel do we have? 31 liters, and that's it. Oh god. Well. Uh, 31 liters of fuel, and that's all. Where's a fuel station? There's one down there, but we don't know where it is. And there's one up here that we do know where it is, but it's a little bit of a ways. Well, uh, let's see. We may have to actually grab the UAZ and go scouting for another truck that we can rescue to a garage and use as a lumber truck. Or not a lumber truck, a fuel truck to go ahead and fill this thing back up or at least fill it up part way because I kind of want to repair it too it looks sad with that massive dent in the front let's see 28 liters I mean we'll try to make this run I don't know if we'll be able to make it but we will try to make it but the problem is it's the truck's gonna be loaded up and I don't know if it'll do I seriously don't know if it'll do it loaded up. I seriously don't Come on there you go All right 25 liter well well actually It might be really 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 close But it might well eh. It's gone down so much already. I'm going to say... I'm going to say I don't think it'll do it. I'm going to say I don't think it'll do it. But that's... That's just me. We'll see what happens. Parking brake off. Let's go. Alright, throw the truck into high. I mean, it's already trying to go into third anyway. 21 liters... Which way should we go? Uh, I'm going to go the exact same way we came in. Exact same way. Oh my god, that fuel is getting low. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it. But you know what? You know what? Okay. Aww. 
You know what? I'll take that over the over like the engine damage I would have gotten if I plowed into it. Just be careful. 18, 17. Oh, jeez. How much do we use if we do... Okay, like that's about the same amount. Okay, that's dumb. That's a horrible decision. Well, that uses even more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So really, there's no point in doing anything besides high range because it uses about the same amount of fuel and it's going to get there faster. So use high range. 13. Oh my god. Come on, truck. Oh, 10 liters and it's down. Ah, no way. But I'm going to take it until it runs out of fuel. Like, I'm going to keep it going until it runs out of fuel. Plus, once we get over this little hill, we can put it back into high range. God, it's using more fuel now than it, than it like, ever was before. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Oh, it's, it's struggling. I've never run a truck out of fuel like this before. Oh, my God. It's struggling. It, it won't even climb the hill. It seriously won't even climb the hill. The truck is, like, the truck is done. I'm, I wonder what, like, if they do anything crazy or anything special if you actually run it out of fuel. We're almost there. I mean, it's almost out. Four liters. Three liters. Oh, God. I really do want to see, though. I mean, for 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 lack of, like, of anything else, I mean, it, it is completely out already. It's just I want to see what happens if you run it completely out. One liter to go, and then it's gonna... The truck is gonna die. And... Zero liters remaining. And completely, totally out of fuel. So... We're going to... Oh, you know what? We're gonna recall... Or should we? Well, here, first of all, let's switch into it. Spare wheel and trunk. Oh, I know exactly what we are doing. But can we not? Oh, I was about to say, okay. So now, lose all repair points and fuel in its add-ons. That's fine. That's fine. We can take it to the nearby fuel station over here. And also at the same time... We can unlock a, a cloaked area. So it's kind of a win-win situation for everybody. So that truck does not have to be rescued. Uh, but rather, all we have to do is take the little UAZ down to unlock a watch point, And we should be all good uh, to go ahead and bring bring any, any little bit of fuel that we need uh, to help that truck keep moving. There we go. Pull. It got beached. This thing gets beached easily. I mean, it's it's not it's not the uh, it's not the highest uh, vehicle in the world. It definitely doesn't have the most ground clearance. We'll move. Oh God! Can you can you climb, please? Climb, pulls. Climb, pulls. Climb, pulls. <laughs> God, that truck looks so sad back there with like a dent in its grill and you know and and completely empty on fuel. It looks so sad. Put it in high range, just let it eat. Although, that might be... Oh, no, 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 it works. It works well. Except for when you run into, like, a massive mud hole, it works really well. The blue one I really need to unlock, which I will after this map, I think. And it should be... That thing should be a screamer. What's nice is that this thing is fully full on, you know, fully filled on fuel... The thing is, it's it only has an 80 liter tank, so no matter what garage you go to, you're going to be fully refueled, you know, every time. But it only uses like one liter a minute, so even when it's in like high range, what does it use? It uses like one liter a minute, so it's like no, no issue at all. The only time it'll use more than that is if you heavily damage it. So you're you're pretty much fine. Oh come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. No! No! No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, you've got this. There you go, little UAZ. Yeah, it's got it. It's got it. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I need to move the wheel a little bit. 
come on. Oh, come on. How about we go into... There we go. I was like, how about we go into automatic for a second and pull winch cable. All wheel drive back on. High range, engaged. All right, so here's the lumber mill where, that we're trying to get the orange truck to, but this is not why we're here. We're here to get that next, to get that next watch point unlocked and also fill up our little jerry cans of fuel, uh, so we can give the big truck at least enough fuel to get over here, um, and then we can use this thing as a little support truck uh, until we get the until we get the big truck back to somewhere where it can properly refuel itself like a garage. Going to first. Well, not first. Uh, it, it, not first. What's the word I was looking for? Uh, high. High range. It's going to go through here a little bit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, we've got like a swampy, marshy thing to deal with. I wonder. You know what? I bet you the, the watch point is out in the middle of that. I, I would... Dude, I would so bet that the, the watch point is out in the middle of this. High range still works. I'm going to stay in it until it doesn't work. There we go. Um, hopefully this isn't too deep. There we go. Uh, put it back into automatic so we can actually have some wheel drive and the pull of the winch cable. And we weren't in there long enough to get any damage, which is really good. All right. So, log station, logs kiosk. Oh, the watch point. We kind of went off course for that. That's way over here to the right. This may be really deep, too. But that shouldn't be any big deal. Because we've got a tree right over there. God, I love how you can see, like, the bubbles from where the exhaust is. That's just so cool. It's an yet another... Yet another reason why Mudrunner is such a fun game. It's all in the details, guys. It really is. Pull this little guy back out of here. And then go ahead and release the winch. Stay right. Oh, God. Stay right. And, oh, boy. All right. Oh, go for a dive. Oh, I know you're getting damage. I know you're getting da Uh-oh. 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 Uh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. Stop engine, please. Okay. Holy crap. All right. Oh, sweet. I was really hoping that we had another vehicle that we could switch to. And you know what I'm going to do? Oh, yeah. First thing I'm doing is I'm outfitting this thing. And second thing I'm doing is actually probably rescuing the this guy right here. So let's see. What's the nearest garage? This one right there. All right. So recover in garage. So now we're good that. We're good on that. Fuel semi-trailer, garage parts, garage trailer, log carriage, utility trailer. I mean... Okay, the trailer hitch is installed, so... Eh, garage parts, garage trailer. God, I want a repair hookup. I mean... Let's do the trailer hitch. And the... Well, you know what? We'll just run the trailer hitch because we're going to go and pick that guy up. Diff is always locked. All-wheel drive is engaged. This thing is a monster. Let's go rescue ourselves a truck. Am I going the right way? No. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, am I going the right way? Eh, no. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Go ahead and go right real quick. And then once we go once we go right, I'm just going to jam the thing in high, leave it there and run as fast as possible down to the uh down to the the uh the, down at the bottom of the hill where the other truck is and I'm literally going to pull it. I'm going to pull it to the other lumber area and I'm just going to unload it there after I pull it there. 
That's just going to be what we're going to have to do. Thing is fast, man. Oh, it's fast when you're when you're actually like on throttle. <laughs> Got a really cool interior too. It's like a cab over, but at the same time it isn't a cab over. <clears throat> let's go. Let's back up and go right. I feel like we're going to much much prefer going right, especially after the experience we had going left. All right. Oh, God. All right. Uh, we're going straight. We're going straight. <laughs> no time to make a decision on that. We're going straight, people. Oh, God. That that steering is weird. It, it's slow. It takes a while to unwind. But I feel like, I mean, that's how it would actually be. So, can't really, uh, can't really knock it, you know? Can't really knock that one. Let's go into first. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, dude. It was like, sorry, but no. <laughs> sorry, but, uh, but nah, bruh. Uh, are we actually turning left here? Yeah, we are. There she goes. We're up in a second now. So just stay in the throttle. Wow, we're in freaking third. All right, I'm just going to leave it in high. And we're going to run right along this edge right here down the hill like we did before. Oh, crap. 92 damage. Although, I feel like we probably have so many damage points on this truck, it doesn't. It, it's not really going to matter. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a little weird. Whoa, it looks like you're going to hit it. Like It looks like you're going to actually crash into the edge, even though you're not. You may just scrape the bumper, but you won't crash into the edge of the hill. But it kind of looks like it does since you're in a cab over. Or, or like you will. God, I love I love watching the suspension work on this thing. Like it's it's just like going up and down constantly. Just bracing the absolute tank of a vehicle that this truck is. And I'm gonna go ahead and go straight, and then I'm gonna go around and kind of kind of almost back in in front of that truck oh dear god stop hitting stumps or you will like your truck will die i mean it's it's not even halfway damaged yet but it's close there she goes uh oh uh oh even scraping the bottom of the engine like that will do it. oh my god that's doing it too holy crap we got to be careful they really don't want you to go fast, do they? I wonder if we can push this over. Uh, not at that speed, we can't. Alright, let's move on ahead a little bit. And then from here, we'll go ahead right around to the front of this truck. And pull it right along. Around these stumps, and then back in. Perfect tow truck. Perfect tow truck. I mean, hell, it probably it really is. It'll haul anything. Absolutely anything. Let's see. What do you mean? Okay, I was going to say, this better have winch points. All right. Attach winch, and let's go. And we'll still be able to finish that objective after we unload this truck. So it'll be perfect. Can we do high range? No. So that means we're going to put it in low three and we're going to cruise. We're going to cruise with that orange, uh, orange cab over behind us. And really, we shouldn't have too far to go. And with all the traction of this thing, it should be a literal breeze. Walk in the park. No big deal. Like, get it done in one shot. You're good. God, I want to like, I want to drive one of these in real life so bad. Like, just one time, just one time, just to see what it would be like. Just to see what it would be like to drive a freaking 8x8 forestry truck. I mean, that would be so cool. So cool. Find our way around these stumps real quick. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
Come on, come on, come on, pull. Pull, there you go. She is not doing too bad. I mean, seriously. I give it props. I mean, it's got a full truck to pull and an entire load of lumber. I mean, it really is doing a great, amazing job. There's the lumber mill. Doesn't even take long at all. So all we got to do is once we get there, we'll pull this into the lumber drop-off area, switch into it, unload the lumber, and then that'll be it for this episode. And then in the next episode, we'll be uh, we'll be getting the, getting the next um, cloaking point unlocked, and then we're going to be filling up the fuel cans on the UAZ and uh, just, just to have those as reserve. And then we'll rescue this back to the garage, grab another lumber attachment, and go on to the next objective. Man, this is in the red on fuel now, too. Damn. I mean, it uses 25 liters a minute because it's an 8x8, but still. I love how sometimes the stumps will just kind of... They'll get pushed, but they won't actually, like... You know, they won't actually get pushed over. You have to really push them if, if you want to push them over. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, I'm going to push it back. Yeah, I got stuck on the stump. Turn right. Try to pull it around the stump. Because it's still got steering. It's just It just doesn't have its own power. All right, we'll pull that dude in here. Turn a little bit wide. All right, he should be good. Wait. Oh, God. Ah, no, no, no. Release. And change truck. Oh, yep. There we go. Okay. And go ahead and unload. Size doesn't matter. Okay. Not sure what that's for, but we're all good on that. Now, uh, in the next episode, we are going to be continuing to unlock the cloaking points on this area. Or sorry, the watch points on this area of the map to get this log station. And our next delivery is going to be... The lumber mill up in this corner. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Spin Tires, Mud Runner, as well as other games, make sure you subscribe for more. And I'll see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.